Hi everyone, it's James from Eurovision Island, back for another episode of Review in 2, where I have two minutes, or less, to talk about all the songs going to the Eurovision Song Contest this year. Today is an incredibly special episode of Review in 2, because we are, of course, looking at Ireland. Leslie Roy and Story of My Life. Uh, Ireland, the spiritual home of Eurovision. Sorry, Sweden, it's true. Ireland have had a bit of a rough ride at the contest over the last few years. We've sort of had a few hits, a few misses. Last year, of course, you know, we obviously hoped for a lot better. But I think Ireland have really come back fighting this year. RTE promised us we'd have a bop on our hands, and my goodness, don't we just. It's brilliant. I just love this song. The moment I started listening to it, I was like, ooh. And that's, I haven't had that re reaction many times this year, so that's a really big point. It's light, it's upbeat, it's fun. Fun is very important at Eurovision. It's got a good message, a good vibe. People out there are sort of saying, oh, it sounds like Katy Perry, sounds like Avril Lavigne, Pink, sort of going back into the 2010s, it's got a bit of a retro feel to it, but it's just a great song that makes you want to get up and move, bang your head and say, na 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 na, see, so hat was onto something. Now, absolutely fantastic, really think this is going to do well. Um, storm out the semi-final, as far as I'm concerned, and um, yeah, never thought I'd quote Dust in the Turkey, but Irlande du Espoir, maybe that eighth win is not such a stretch after all. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Ireland. Keep checking back to Eurovision Island for more episodes of Reviewing 2. Gura Magoi, Slango